What do you sit, stand, <laughs> or even slouch? You're more than welcome right here on the couch. Hi, how is everybody doing? I'm Ricardo Richardson, but you can call me Ricky with an I, and this is The Couch. On this episode of The Couch, we'll be sitting down and interviewing none other than Hashim the Dream Lewis. And uh, yes, I know my hair looks like curly fries, but this conversation is going to be very interesting. It's going to be fun. It's going to be exciting. And we're going to have a fire, fire performance. But before we get into anything, we're going to take a quick commercial break and be right back with more on The Couch with Ricky with an I and Hashim the Dream Lewis. Stick and stay. We'll be right back, right? Yeah. So when the hell? I'm freaking out. Is time. Two eight four news. Coming to you live and direct from the beautiful British Virgin Islands. What's poppin'? What's really good? What's happening? What's happening? What's up? Yes, Massive, and we are back here on the couch. And as I said before, we went to commercial break. We'll be sitting down and uh, chatting it up with the man Hashim, the dream. Lewis, so people, without further ado, right here in the couch, into it for Media Studios. We now have none other than man. Welcome to, to the couch, Bridget. What's up, How do I feel? How do I feel? It's good, man. It's really, it's really, it's been a long time coming. The show been on for how much years? And when I finally get a call, I say, uh uh, new year, everybody. Yes, sir. Remember that the dream back, man. The dream has uh, been back for a while. Yeah, he has, he has. Oh, but, I mean, before we get into anything, tell us a bit about the dream for, for the, the audience that um, may be a bit new to you. Well, for those of you who do not know, Hashim the Dream, born and raised right here in Tartola, British Virgin <laughs> Islands. I've been singing and writing and performing for the um, better part of almost 15 years now. Yeah, since, well, since the age of 14, uh, I, I got into music uh, during the top seven or seven uh -huh. generation. Yes. You know? uh, I used to rap back then, but then I slowly moved away from the hip-hop thing. It was fun, but then I realized my true calling was more in Caribbean music, soca okay. in particular, you know? Okay. So, and after my first carnival in Trinidad and Tobago, 2011, yes, 10, yeah. year, 10 years ago, precisely. Yeah, after that, I was hooked, man. So I had to, I had to, follow, I had to follow that route. Mm -hmm. Now, you mentioned something um, just now about the, the top seven at seven. Now, I know the top seven at seven... Well, it's like at back, back, back in the day, um, big up the man push pop for pushing sure. that. It was like one of the premier stage shows, premier events that anybody who was anybody in entertainment in the Virgin Islands at that time had to be a part of. Absolutely. How yeah. did the top seven at seven help to shape your career? It definitely taught me um, a lot about stage presence and mm -hmm. performance which is what a lot of people really know me for mm -hmm. like even if the music ain't out there whenever they see me on a stage if, even if they don't know me we're like oh yeah Hashim the sing but mm -hmm. when I touch a stage now that's, I give you that energy and I give you that performance and from the very first top seven and seven yeah. awards that, 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 that raised me uh, to, to be a performer mm -hmm. you know get the crowd involved and no matter who they are whether it's 10 of them or 10,000 of them mm -hmm. always come a thousand percent on stage every time and that that really to me is what really makes an artist you can make good music yes but if you can't speak to the people that listen to it mm -hmm. when you're on a stage that they can't feel the same way they do when you listen to them then then you're not quite there yet as an artist you're making good music mm -hmm. but when mm -hmm. you can interpret that on the stage that's what rounds you as an artist and as a performer you know okay okay take us back a bit to 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 top seven at seven what mm. was like your favorite memory man. from back then <sighs> man that's a that's a tough one yes eh? um you know i i was in the very first one so mm -hmm. i, I want to say yeah that that first one that our biggest audience at that point because i was a part of the the church boys and we were the only gospel rap group yeah back then but Everybody was still was still messing with us because you know we were doing something different, yeah. and at the same time we could also sing. So we sang a couple of love songs too. So when we hit that stage for the very first time, like at that on that mm -hmm. big of a stage at that point in our career, 
I, I, that, that was one that, that was a moment that definitely stuck with me, you know, Absolutely. because it was me and my closest friends yeah. and good music that we made together yes. and everybody was rocking with it, you know. Facts, I facts. jumped off the stage, I, I, sang, <laughs> I sang to Gyoz, uh -huh. and everybody was like, man, was vibes. heads was up, vibes. and I was known as heads up back then, for those who know, they know. But yeah, that's a whole different, that's a whole different, yeah, I had a whole different name before the dream. Heads out? Yeah, heads out. It was a, it, it, because they made fun of my head, uh -huh. my head size. So in high school, they started to call me heads out because my head is standing out anyway. You check? So I just took the name and I spun it and I made it something positive when I okay. first started in music, you know? So everybody was like, yeah, my heads, hey, you go perform, my son. You know, and from that, from that, from that very, full, from those early days of that positive feedback has yeah. already kept me going in this thing long after people decide, you know, to move on. Okay, so you started out at Heads Out. How did mm. the dream come about then? Huh, that's a funny story because the mm. dream came about um, after I left high school here. Mm. Uh, shout out St. George's, massive class of 09. Uh, I spent a few months at a boarding school in Florida mm. and I became close friends with uh, Varsity, the Varsity basketball team there at the time. And they were like one of the top ranked teams in the country. And just simple dorm room talk you know, shooting nicknames at each other. They didn't know what my street name was down here. Uh -huh. And somebody just, they, somebody heard I could rap and be like, mm -hmm. I want to hear this guy. Let, let, let's bring him to the mic. Has she the dream? Like, I was like, bruh? I was like, I didn't say anything because I, it sounded cool. It rhymed. I was like, yeah, okay, I'll rock with it. And from then, they just kept calling me the dream in school. Dream. So I, I, I had, when I started to switch over to Soka, I dropped the heads out title and just went by Hashim, but by then I had the dream on a lot of my social platforms. Okay. So that's how everybody started to, to pin it, Hashim, the dream, and it rhymed and it, and it stuck, you know, something that people would just remember you for. And to right. me nowadays, you know, the dream is always about waking up every day and aspiring to be your best, your, at your mm -hmm. fullest mm -hmm. potential. As long as I'm doing that each and every day, then I'm already okay. living the dream, okay. you know? So I, I, that, I, that's what I am, the dream personified. Got you, got you, that's cool. Um, no, and back, back when, when we started, you also said that you started out doing hip hop. You were more or less mm -hmm. um, gospel rapper and, and that, that kind of vibe. Yeah. But you, in 2011, you said mm -hmm. something happened in Trinidad that more yeah. or less changed your outlook and everything. And you just became more of a soccer warrior. What Basically, happened yeah. in 2011 to change you? Well, I was. I, I've decided to fool around with Soka when I was here mm -hmm. a few months before the Trinity Carnival. Yeah. And I had kind of made this tune on this, this power tune on the spot called Ready to Jam. Mm -hmm. And my mom sent it down to my aunt and I was like, would he like to come down here and try to perform it here? And at first I was like, what? <laughs> because like, I don't think I'm ready for it. And my mom was like, you never know until you try. Go and, go, and, go and do it. So I was like, all right, fine. Showing up, my aunt acted as my manager then and Soka always had a special place in my heart. Mm -hmm. it, I always used to see my mom travel to Trinity for Carnival yeah, every year growing yeah. up. And every year she came back, she bring back all the, the latest music, uh, show me all the magazines and the costumes. But Sometimes you wasn't going? I wasn't going at it. I was, I was still a child. Oh, okay. I was still a child. Okay, okay, okay. okay. I'll, I'll, exactly. I'll accept that. I'll That's accept that. 2011, I turned 18. You know, she, was, she was like, yeah, time to, time to get your feet wet, time to, uh -huh. time to, taste, time to taste it for yourself. So, uh -huh. When I, came, when I flew down there, I'd been to Trinidad all the time, all my life, you know, as a, as a child, but mm. to experience it in its, little, its busiest time of the year and to, and to be performing side by side by artists you used Alan to listen to Jules. and admire and grow up. And then, yeah, I, I almost broke my neck the first week just walking in town like, Jeez, look great. Yeah. Yo, what I, what, when I look hmm. at everything going on down in Trinidad when it comes to carnival thing, right, it's just, you see, it's like Trinidad, just just be pure woman. Yeah. Pure woman in like beautiful costumes, melanin, magic all over the road. You know what the, you know, you know the mess of that is? Like, you only see them at carnival time. You blink in Ash Wednesday and they're gone. Disappear. Shh. You don't know where, like they're in the hills, dog, until the next year. It's a, and you don't, you can't find them. Like you have to, you have to search yeah. to, to see them in the in the regular element. Because they either they flew in uh -huh. or they just or they just have nice jobs somewhere and they don't really come out until it's time to fetch. You know. Okay. But man, you know what can happen? I don't know when, but <laughs> you see me, I must experience Trinidad Carnival is actually on my bucket list. It I have, have to experience to. a Trinidad Carnival. Doc, if you're a West Indian, that should be on your bucket list, like point blank. 
yeah. period. It is the it is the mecca for carnival mm -hmm. the world over. And watching it nine years in a row because I didn't go last year. Yeah. I was back here, but nine years, year after year after year, getting bigger and better mm -hmm. each and every time. And the amount of people and friends that I made just yeah. off a of carnival alone. It's an experience that you'll never forget. That. Facts. Like, Facts. Breaks my heart sometimes when I think about it. Yeah. Facts. Okay, so we're going to get deeper into this conversation, but we're going to take a quick commercial break, and we'll be right back with more On The Couch with Hashim The Dream. Lewis, stick and stay. Soon come back. Father Jesus, that learn you along like church service. Hmm. Customer line, please. Wait, hold on a second. Yes, Sonny Boy, come. Yes, Sonny. Good morning. Good morning, Sonny Boy. Good morning. You must have cut fun tapping. It's okay, it's okay. I'll take care of it. What? No, no man, protect me. How may I assist you? Yes, yes. You want top of power? Eh? You want top of power? Eh? You want top of power? Huh? Join the prepaid party with CCT and enjoy more affordable data plans, more top up promotions, more savings with hero bundles, and more value for your money each and every Tuesday with Top Up Turn Up Tuesday. Visit a CCT store today or anywhere CCT Top Up is sold and top up your phone. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. You want top of power? All right, so we're back here on the coach with the Manhashi in the Dream. Um, we were just talking about Trinidad Carnival, all yeah. the beautiful ladies, yeah, <laughs> down in Trinidad. And but don't, don't, don't get me wrong, you know, we have some fine, fine we, we got some mint, some toss right here in the BBI. When last we had a war, though, I can't, I can't tell you last time I had a war. You just make me feel old now. Yeah, nah, don't nah. tell. Don't tell me. I, uh, we have some, some very beautiful they ladies they here. They don't say toss no more. They don't say toss no more. Okay, we, you, hey. For production, take all the part out of okay, please. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, okay, but back into the interview. Yeah, yeah man. Back into, um, let's say, scenario. Mm -hmm. Jugo, yeah. Boss, mm -hmm. JJ, mm -hmm. Pascal approach you to do a collaboration, but you only could do the collaboration with one of them. One? Who would you choose to do it with and why? Man, if I had to choose one, mm -hmm. I would go with JJ. To JJ. be totally honest, yeah, to be honest with you. Because to me, JJ, uh, out of the four of them, had and still has that sound that kind of pushes outside of the VI Soka and, and, and starts to grab attention mm -hmm. regionally. And that's not to say Boss and Drugo and them uh, don't cater to that as well, mm -hmm. but the sound that, that JJ brings all the time, I think that's why he, he definitely won his Soka man as, you know, back mm -hmm. to back, because mm -hmm. that sound, I think, is marketable outside um, and, and, and further down the islands. It, 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 it's, it's a warm-up to, yeah. to, to the Virgin Islands soca yes. because we are a raw kind of a soca genre, you know? True. And JJ is like a palate wetter. You check? And then when you come to Boss, you get, you get the, the, the appetizer. And by the time you reach up to, to Juku and them, it's the full-blown Virgin Islands main course soca. You know, and that, that's how I would ease my, my people from down the islands, yeah. like past Dominica and thing, up to the, the small island soccer, mm. because we do it different up here. Truth, truth and facts, yeah. truth and facts, truth and facts. Now, it kind of makes me segue into this. Um, mm. Though, Daddy Friday, he did his thing For sure. back in the day, like, I mean, rest in peace to the king himself. Yeah. Um, but we have numerous names that we can also say that are currently mm. making waves. But mm. what else do you think we can do as a people and also you as an artist are as artists to help drive the culture to a point where we are more recognized because back when when daddy friday was around and imagine those people mm -hmm. it's like you used to hear a lot more to me definitely yeah so what do you think could be done we we we, we became this is just my personal opinion mm -hmm. we became very segregated from the rest of the genre mm. particularly after the passing of friday because up to now, I can still remember interviews when man like Marshall can quote Daddy Friday and being and being over St. Thomas yes, for Juve and yes. things when he was now coming up and on the rise. So it's not like our soca isn't known in the other islands mm -hmm. by the upper heads. But we have to put ourselves back out there and not just 
be satisfied in the niche. Mm. We, can't, we can't just stay in the bubble. We can't swim in the river our whole life. There's a whole ocean out there, you know, and that Virgin Islands soca is, and, the, and not just Virgin Islands, but all the soca from the smaller islands are now starting to get more and more recognition as True. we start to become, soca has started to become a lot more diverse. Yeah. You're yeah. not just seeing the hits coming out of Trinidad, you're seeing them coming from Barbados with Marsville, mm -hmm. um, St. Lucia with Moto, Asabanta, and Dominica. Mm -hmm. So I, we, I would just, also touch on um, seeing it with the, the man Akai. Yeah, Akai course. is doing a lot right now for himself, and uh, I could also bring it right back home to the man Adam O. To the man Adam, yeah. perfect example. Yeah, perfect example. And he and he is now breaking. He has broken that mold for for the USVI. Mm -hmm. And year after year, that 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 was my mission in Trinidad. Always breaking that mold and and showing them something yes. different yes. each and every season. You know, mm -hmm. and and that's that's how they. We came to, came to know me because even though I was living there, they always saw me as, you know, the VI man. Uh -huh. you know? So that, that's, that's how I was always, because I always represent my country mm -hmm. every time. Even though I wasn't living here, you know, that this is where, this is where I came from. This is where mm -hmm. the, the talent was formed, and I can never forget that. Okay. Um, VI man, um, soccer artist. Mm -hmm. uh, you recently completed a brand new music video. Mm. Now, we're going to go into that music video, but <laughs> tell us a bit about the music video before we touch it, and then after you tell us about it, introduce it. Yeah, for sure. All right. All right. So, uh, Say Less is the name of the video, and, mm -hmm. uh, you know, it, it came about when a producer from St. Croix uh -huh. actually pitched the rhythm to me. Well, he pitched it to me to an artist. Shout out to Gilos okay. um, and, and ba uh, Baby Music Records. Mm. They, they, they sent me this rhythm for, for St. Croix Carnival, and I was like, yo, this have regional and potential, and you can solidly hear that this is, VI, this is VI vibes, yeah. you know? And that's why I was so excited to, to, to hop on it because uh, I think it, out of, for, for all the years I've been singing soca, I probably only sang on one other Virgin Islands rhythm and that mm -hmm. was the Patty Hard rhythm that TJ was on. Okay. Uh, yeah, and so when I had this one, when I got this one, I went straight to the studio. Uh, I called up one of, one, of my, one of my writing buddies, Shumba, and he was like, yo, we, I, got, I got this idea for say less can we build something around it mm. and immediately we got to walk you know creating a song talking about your team being the best team every venue that you touch down yeah. they know it's a problem and i sing this song with a lot of goose and passion because my team right here yes, man we, we shout out everywhere we go shout out to my byob family janelle and the whole crew you know yes, and, and so when it came to shooting it i had moved i moved back here mm -hmm. in 2019 and I immediately had to call up uh, Philip Richards because he did my music video for Bodyguard featuring Cameron. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I knew exactly who I had to call, and we, we sussed out uh, locations and ideas, mm -hmm. called up some favors. Uh, I mean, you saw the villa and oh, that, oh, yeah. the pool. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, shout out to Uncle Freddie for allowing us to use his bus because this before party bus was trending uh -huh. the check, so we had a whole different bus uh, in the event. People were asking, you, you shut down the party bus? No, no, no. Oh, something completely different. Guys. Okay. But we, we set it up with the lights, the fog machine, and we, I just called my friends and I said, yo, we doing a party bus live and we're, shooting a, and we're shooting a video at the say same less. time. And I said, and they said, say less, we, we there. Less. We inside, you know? Okay. So, and that's just how it came about. There are a lot more ideas that I wanted to do with the video, but uh -huh. I am very proud of how it Everything. came out. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to drop it sooner, but then COVID, you know, came about. Everybody was kind of, Lock down my quiz, I say, we put this on the shelf mm -hmm. until I'm ready to come out and hit them with the consistency. So, you know? so now that you, you bring it out, introduce yeah. it to the people and so let me see something. Man, like, I already know what it is. To it for me, they the coach, Virgin Islands. This is your boy, Hashim the Dream. And this is my new music video, Say Less, streaming on our platforms right now. Go check it out, man. Run the gym. Lil. Yo. Dog, you miss out, bro. We mash up the party bus. Uh -huh. Literally. You want me to mash up? Say it like. You want me to mash up? Say it like. You want me to share it up? Say it like. This place don't get flat up. Dog, I got up here at the villa with the girl, them. What you trying to do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I could come true, man. I could come true. Say it less. Party don't stop. You don't know. Boom.
thing you can't take them from me I, I just only roll with me day one passé So when you see me With me friend them Trust me it's a problem We don't stand one place at all This ain't no one them When I with me friend them We just cause the problems If you want your place smash up Give me a call, call, call then Inspiring gentlemen and our partners that hold us down. It's season two of The Art of a Distinguished Gentleman, taking you on the most inspiring journey with the best and brightest distinguished gentlemen of the BVI. Raw, real life lessons that translate to grounded, community minded, well rounded men like you've never seen them before. Governor Augustus J.U. Jasper, Jovan Klein, Neil Klein and so much more. Yeah. Turning modern day men into 21st century distinguished gentlemen with yours truly, Ron Grant, a 284 Media production. You still have more questions? Yes, so Master Van Crew, we are back right here on the couch. I have one more question for Hashim the Dream and then he's gonna go straight into a serious, crazy fire performance. So Hashim, yes. who has the best pizza in the BVA? Roger Green, hands on. Why you, why you mean uh, VQ? V VQ? V freaking Q, I done talk. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't care. Look, I, I, oh, I gotta say it right now, my preference is what, what, by the gas station right there. Wait, I ain't tried, I ain't tried yet, so yeah. I can't, I can't. But well, you can't, can't if you can't, I tried I Virgin Queen. I, I don't think there's a pizza in the Virgin Islands I haven't tried. But mm -hmm. we gonna hit you, we going straight on the stage right now. Okay. Cause you got tear down the coach, so right. hit the coach. Go, go. Anyway, people, <laughs> Hashim is kind of walking over into his performance <laughs> yeah. right now, so you gonna see me talking to you a little bit. But he's gonna tear the place down, ladies and gentlemen. Right here on the couch, none other than the man Hashim, the Dream, Lewis, and he's about to tear down the place and mash it up. So, sell it. Excuse, um, excuse me. Yes, sir. Oh, you yeah, already know what it is, man. The man Tuckman Key got me covered. Let me run some tune there. Hey, Toba do it. Toba do it now. I'm going call your friend them up this weekend. Toba do it. Tell them we about to tear down Toba. Let me go. I say, excuse me, when we come out on the road, don't oh, confuse me. For no now come set a party as we unruly. Tell them we born and bred for this, we part and we bougie. We part and we bougie. Hey, so when we get in our door, we will try to challenge me. And when we drink, we run, we take over the whole party. Don't watch me simple and tell yourself we easy. We don't come out here to just mash up the whole damn way.
everybody at home. I done no carnival. Ain't coming to a lot of all of us this year. I really yeah, 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 yeah. So those who missed it, the Tabanka is for you. For months now I've been running you down. Frustrated and I can't wait no longer. The presence that you bring when you come. It's at me in a trance because I miss you You can't again and I'm me upset I'm tired now, you got me depressed You can't even I love you so But I don't want to let go Jumping up in the blazing sun Everybody moving as one Stoke a fever up in the brain And I can't put your hands up Sweet honey, you really miss you I know we done spent but I'll tell you You reach out your heart in bed Feeling sick and I'm desperate Lottie Ricky, let me slow it down now. Take a little chip for the girl there. Swat. Slow it down. Hey, hey. Wind up your waist slow. Wind up your waist slow, yeah. So don't stop and let your body go. A lot of way your body go, yeah. I love the shape of your body, girl. Picture me on your body, girl. Sit it. All over your, your body, body, girl. Don't, don't stop and let your body go. Wind up your waist slow. Why not be away so, yeah? Don't stop and let your body go. Don't let away your body go, yeah. I let the shape of your body, girl. Picture me upon your body, girl. Shout out to my boy, Cam. And your fam. That video was lit. Let your body go. Anywhere that you wanna go. Don't waste time hitting you on the phone. Have you ever been to Rome? We can go now, cause I got a show. Say don't stop and let your waist go. One time, let your waist go. Say bring it back and let your waist go I said now you know the rules A fine girl Angelina Rose With a tick back like Amber Rose Say my girl, yeah you know I say my girl, yeah you know How are you telling them? My girl you so fire My girl take me higher Hey, my girl you so fire My girl take me higher Higher Wind up your waist slow Wind up your waist slow, yeah they don't stop and let your body go Don't let away your body go Don't let the shape of your body go Don't let your body go Don't let your body go Oh, so we doing this? Yeah. We doing this one here? Comes a big one. This one here is unreleased music. Swat the EP from in 2021 you know, you know, Just for the girls Swat Let me talk to them You're a face of a queen or oh, you're a star girl Like a <laughs> Oh, yeah. You're trying to get her teased. You really trying to tease her today? Yeah. Yes, I. This one's called Ray Drop. So go with a twisty EP. You know, you know. When this one come on, just look at your girl and say, Hey! You're my face of a queen, or you're a star, yeah. Like a superhero, you make the whole world marvel. Boy, yo, that's in my brain for real. That's in that is in my brain for real, girl. That's just a king confession, you know. Say, Ranger. I just wanna be the sky and bring love on you. On you, on you. Ranger. Oh, I just wanna be the sky and bring love on you. As the sky lives, I live for you. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, you try and get in too much, you know. Let me get in now one more. Just for y'all. Just for your team. Let me turn it up again. Yo, want me to? Yo, want me to shell it? Thank you to everybody for all love and support for this video. Go and stream it right now on Apple Music, Spotify, and everywhere. Grab your team. Let's go. Swat, I. No good friend better than Pokemon Monday. 
I love my team, you can't take them from me. I, I just only roll me, take one pass it. So when you see me, with my friend them, trust me, it's a problem. We don't stand one place at top, they say no one them. When I with my friend them, we just cause the problems. Let me do the same, on the count of four. One, two, three, hey!